Hi, welcome to 8th session of ISTQB Foundation Level Exam Sample Questions. So in this session, we will take a look at five questions that you can use to prepare yourself for this exam. If you have found any errors or have any questions regarding previous video, do let me know in the comments. So let's start by taking our first question. The later in the development life cycle a fault is discovered, the more expensive it is to fix. Why? Option A, the documentation is poor, so it takes longer to find out what the software is doing. B, wages are rising. C, the fault has been built into more documentation, code, tests, etc. D, none of the above. So let's start by eliminating options. Option A, documentation is poor. So that should not be the case for fixing our fault. Okay, documentation can be poor, but software can be perfect. So it is all part of understanding. However, if the documentation contains the mistakes, then software will have it in earlier and subsequent chains. So option C, that says the fault has been built into more documentation, code and tests looks closer to our answer. Then option B, wages is arising, which is not at all true. So A and B are not true. Then comes D, none of the above, which is again wrong. So our option here is C. Now, second question. Statement coverage will not check for the following. Missing statements, unused branches, dead code, unused statements. So statement coverage will check for dead code or unused code, unused statement, unused branches, but it cannot check for missing statements. So the answer A here is true. Third question, to test function, the programmer has to write a dash, which calls the function to be tested and passes it test data stub driver proxy none of the above now let's go through the option option a stub stub doesn't call itself to be tested and passes the test data we pass the data to stub and it processes that to the next module so here to test a function we don't write stub that calls function to be tested option b driver so what driver does is we have to write a driver that calls a particular function and processes that test data so this looks closer to our answer then comes proxy what proxy does is that it is basically a module which is temporary performing over that integration test so for example let's say if you want to perform some testing on your website but you want to emulate load in such case you use proxy users so here you are not using the exact data or function but that is just a proxy so it just emulates so it doesn't call the function and passes its data okay so stub is wrong proxy is wrong also d none of the above is wrong as well so we are left with option b which looks closer to our answer so driver calls the function to be tested and passes the data to it now let's take next question an input field takes the year of birth between 1900 and 2004. The boundary values for testing in this field are A, 0, 1900, 2004, 2005. Okay, then B, 1900, 2004. Okay, then C, 1899. 1900, 2004, and 2005. Okay, and D, 
So let's eliminate 0 to 2005. Okay, so here we are only checking for boundaries. So one negative and one positive. So okay, so zero is anything up to 1900 falls within one boundary. So that is one option. However, it also adds 1900, 2004 and 2005. Sounds like a wrong option here. Then B, 1900, 2004 which are only two boundaries okay so it doesn't test for exact value before these two so we have option c 18991900200005 so when you are checking for boundary value always think of one value less than and one value greater than the limit so this option c looks closer to our answer then option D, 1899-1900-1901-2003-2004-5. So this looks more of equivalence testing's answer, not boundary value. So answer A, B and D are wrong. So answer C is right here. Now, next question, which of the following is the component testing standard? IEEE 829, IEEE 610, BS 7925 dash 1, BS 7925 dash 2. Now I want you to Google these four standards and then learn about them because often this question is twisted and is repeated in many exam simulations. Okay, so it's not like you will only find it in ASTQB, you will also find it in British testing exam or CSC. Okay, so I want you to go through these documents and know what exactly are these standards. Right, so instead of explaining what each standard is, let's just check the answer which is PS7925-2 which is component testing standard again i repeat bs7925-2 is the component test standard so answer d so these are five questions that i want you to go through and i hope this helps prepare you for the exam